December day On this cold December day Welcome back and happy holidays. I have been in the middle of decorating for Christmas and I'm I'm not even half finished. But I did put up a tree and I have several trees. This one in particular is a really tall, thin tree, almost like a, a column. It goes in a corner. And I bought this tree years ago because the house we lived in did not have a lot of space for a big old fat Christmas tree. So we got this tall, thin one. And I really like it for a corner area. And it doesn't take a lot of decorating. I like just the lights personally. I don't have to have a lot of decorations, but I put these stockings on today just because we're going to talk about stocking stuffers. And what I will do is go through some of the items that I have bought to put in stockings. Now, I don't know if your family's like mine, but we put a monetary limit on how much we spend for Christmas. And I'm not going to complain about that because if I get the Christmas spirit and want to just go nuts, then uh, that kind of puts the brakes on. So I love the idea, and it's not all about the gifts anyway. We know that. But I'm going to go through things that I did buy for stockings for boys, men, girls, and ladies. And I'm going to show not. I'm not going to show you everything I bought because some of it's just boring, and you wouldn't care to hear about that. But what I will show you may give you some ideas about what you want to buy for stocking stuffers. And, you know, this is something you can do most of the years. If you find some clever idea, go ahead and buy it. Have a place in your closet or somewhere special that you put all of your Christmas things and you'll have them ready for Christmas. I know some of you are always interested in what I'm wearing. Well, I'm not wearing anything new. This is all things that I've had for years, but they're pieces that are classic pieces that you can keep and just put on once a year is about all I wear this vest and it is like a buffalo plaid and it's red and black and this t-shirt, it's just a plain t-shirt and I believe I got it at Target and then I have faux leather leggings, I don't know if you can see them, there they are and I have uh, these they're velvet slippers, and I've had these forever as well. And so that's what I'm wearing today, and it's not anything that you can't find. I think Spanx now has the faux leather leggings that are beautiful. I don't, I don't need them because I've had these forever. So if you buy things that are a classic look, you have your basics in your closet for Christmas. And, you know, you don't wear the same thing every Christmas, but you're not around all the same people every Christmas either, so you can interchange everything and wear it here and there, and you feel like you have a Christmas wardrobe. And that's what I've done, is gathered anything that's Christmassy and put it in one spot in my closet, and each year I take it out and I wear it, and I feel like I have a whole Christmas wardrobe. So let's get started with a couple of boy stocking stuffers and this is what I have found to be a big hit are Hot Wheel cars. Now I found this at Target as well as these miniature Legos. It's this Lego City 62 pieces and that's perfect for boys. Legos are always a hit as well as Hot Wheels. So if you have a little boy that you're buying for, then this is what you want to look for. And there's so many different kinds of Hot Wheels. I was not aware of that until I started looking. And, um, you know, you can't go wrong. So that and Legos are my two suggested boy items. And I'm going to set those right there. And now, something I found for the guy in your family, and you just don't know what to get him, and he might be into sports and he's outside a lot, or hunters who are outside, or just someone who can't get warm in the winter. Well, I, 
I ran across this hand warmer. It's a Zippo hand warmer, and I found it at Walmart. And let's see if I have the ticket for that because, and I do, I have the ticket for it. It was, the Zippo hand warmer was $13.82, and I don't know where they came up with that. Everything's usually like $13.99, $13.82. And then I bought the, the Zippo lighter fuel that's needed for that, and it was $1.97. So that is a wonderful idea because I know guys in my family who are always cold, especially their hands if they're out for long periods of time. So that's somebody's special gift that they're gonna find in their stocking. And then I have something I found at Walgreens Pharmacy. It is the Seneki. You may have heard about these through advertisements on television. It's Do Not Touch Key. You can open doors. I'm gonna come up closer so maybe you can see. You can open doors. You can use it for keypads. You can use it for a number of things. If you get in an elevator and you want to push the button and you don't want to use your finger because of all the germs that are going around, then this Santa key is what I found. I just thought it was so clever and I didn't buy just one. I bought several for family members, but this is what I suggest for guys in the family. Of course, the girls too, why not? And that Santa key at Walgreens was $5.99. So that is a clever little gift to give during the Christmas holidays. Now we're going to move to the girls. Now see, this is where I really can go a little overboard because who doesn't like going to Ulta and Sephora and all those fun places? So I do get a little carried away, but we have a lot of girls in our family. So this is what I have come up with. Now this is a gift that I bought and then realized it was too large to put in stockings. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm just gonna wrap them and put them under the tree. It is a ring light. This is an eight inch LED ring light. And if you can find a smaller one, that is great. But we have a lot of girls in our family who are on their telephone using it for social media and for Zoom calls. So now they'll have an extra little uh, ring light. And this one has a tripod stand on it and I got it at Marshall's. So the next stop was Sephora and I bought of course, everybody likes these little masks. I got Sephora bubble masks, and they are perfect for stocking stuffers. You can't have enough of these masks, hand masks, face masks, hair masks, any kind of mask you can find is perfect for stocking stuffers. And actually, guys like some of the masks as well, especially face masks. Now that the teenagers are wearing masks to school, if your students are in school or virtual learning, if they're wearing a mask a lot, their face tends to break out, so they love a good mask. And then I went to Ulta. Now this is where I got a little carried away, but I think you're gonna enjoy it. So I have, let me get this out of the way. Uh, I have the receipt so I can tell you how much things cost that I bought at Ulta. Oh, I just love going in these shops. I also have been going into a lot of boutique shops because I want to give small businesses my business. So just go in a shop and buy anything you can find. I bought earrings, I bought bracelets and things like that for gifts for Christmas because these small business owners need your business and now's the time to do it because they are suffering. But let's get back to Ulta. I found at Ulta these roller perfumes. I bought these in the past and so I bought the Clinique Happy for two girls. I bought one Clinique Happy in bloom and one Clinique Happy. And I'll tell you something that I have a problem with. In that, well, in that cute, it's a, the roller ball, if you're familiar with that. 
little rollerball perfume. Love that. And this is for teenagers and preteens. Now, what I was going to tell you is I have a problem with perfume names. Some of the perfume names are so sexy that I just can't see giving those to preteen and teen girls for Christmas. So I'm sticking with happy and happy and bloom. And <laughs> maybe it's just me, but I'm very sensitive to those types of things. I think our girls are subjected to a lot more sensuality than they need to be at a young age, whether it's on television or just out with friends. And I don't think I want to contribute to that. So I'm going with perfumes that have a name that's not sexual. And so happy and happy and bloom it is. Then I found these adorable little hairpins. They are barrettes, but they don't really look like barrettes. They are more of a pin. I'm trying to get it off the card for you. But they're taped in. Oh my. Well, I'll take a picture up close. They're more like a bobby pin than a hair barrette. And they are very simple. And so they are something that you can wear with just about any outfit. Because, you know, you want everything to match and the girls all know what they want. And it's hard to buy for somebody else. But how can you go wrong with something like this? It has it in gold, silver, and rose gold. And let me look and see if I have that on here. Let's see. They were $8. And then the, the Happy Perfumes were $22 for a roller bottle. And I have several for myself, and they last a long time. So they are perfect for just dropping in a stocking. And this is the Anastasia Hot Holiday, H-A-U-T-E Holiday Lip Gloss Set. And it is neutrals and nudes and it was $28. Something that was really unique and cute for teen girls who have acne breakouts are these acne patches. They're made by Truly, and this is the Super Heart, and this one is the Super Star, and you get several patches in the package. It looks like six, but I can't get it open because it is taped up and it does not indicate so but i am seeing six per package this was is a gold stars with glitter and this is the hearts the pink hearts with glitter and then you put those on at night and walk around looking cute with your hearts and stars and they contain hydro and i'm trying to read it because it's so tiny hydrocolide, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correct, correctly, and then benzyl peroxide. And so overnight, you're having an acne treatment on your spot, and hearts and stars for girls. I don't know. The guys might like them too. They have other colors. I just chose those, but look for these in Ulta. It's a cute little thing to drop in the stocking, and they may not realize what it is at first and then explain it to them, and they're going to love you for it. They're so cute. Then I bought more masks. These are green tea masks, and they're made by Tony Moly, and I just can't get enough of these. I buy as many for gifts as I buy myself, and we all love them, and it's a good way to have a little mini spa day at home is to have all of these cute things around, and if you wanted to do a spa gift package or gift basket, these would work for that too, not just stocking stuffers. And then I went around the corner and look what I found. Kendall Jenner's Moon Teeth Whitening Pins. They were $19, I believe. Let's see, make sure. $19.99. And who doesn't want sparkling white teeth? And Kendall Jenner has come out with a teeth whitening pen. So we're dropping that in the stocking. And then I came across peppermint foot masks. And I thought that was a cute idea. So those are going in the stockings. So, and that's all I got at Sephora and Ulta. But then I went to Target and they had the Burt's Bees Peppermint Moisturizing Lip Balm perfect for Christmas peppermint kisses. So that's what I have to show you for stocking stuffing. Of course, I am going to add candies and fruits and things like that that are traditional in our family to put in stockings. 
Well, I hope this video gave you a few ideas for your stockings this holiday season, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please tap the subscribe button, and that small bell to the right, tap that too, because if you do, you'll be notified every time I post a new video, and follow me on Instagram. Happy holidays!